Wow. All right, team. I don't think we've ever had so much food before. So, you know what? Maybe we should go ahead and let everybody fill their stomachs. But at the same time, probably better to make sure that we had something to rely on for the future. Really, finding that balance about being able to make sure that, you know, we can survive out here is what it's all about. So, all right. You guys ready? My belly is full. Time Good to time. fill up your bellies. Chow down, pups. And chow down, guys. In fact, wow, I, well, <laughs> we really could have eaten right up to the maximum, but you know what? It'd probably be uncomfortable to run on a tummy that is a little too full, don't you think, Gail? I'm gonna take this mitten off, but I fear frostbite. There you go, it's a good puppy. All right, let's see if we can do this. Gail Slayer, I'm gonna give you guys some extra pets. Pets, pets, pets. For good luck, because hopefully, Slayer, if you want to go ahead and start telling us a little bit more about your life, then we can follow your story soon. It's a fresh run. We still have a long way to go. So maybe we'll discover something different. What do you guys think? Stilton, what direction do you think we should head? You keeping a lookout for all of us? Yeah, good boy, Stilton. Yeah, I don't want to distract you too much, but I think it's time for some good old pets. Maybe some of these, and a bit of a scratch here. <laughs> Good boy. All right, let's do this. Let's hit the trail. Who knows what's going to happen this time. All right, let's mush on. It's different every time. At least this time I did manage to learn how to do a caribou call. That's kind of cool. Oh, hey, there's an abandoned cabin up ahead. Yes. All right, what are we going to find in there? Okay. So there's just a creepy abandoned cabin sitting over there. Um. Uh, yes, we're gonna go ahead. Let's try sneaking up to it. I doubt they can hear us. Do we check it out? Let's see, there might be something useful in there. I'm sure it'll be fine. Ah, uh, finally. Knock? I should knock, right? I was very eagerly waiting for this. I guess I can salvage this broken table. Uh, no. Nothing in here? Really? Ugh. Thanks for holding down the sled, pups. This birch will really help. Let's get back out there. Well, alright. That place didn't have anything in it. But who knows? Maybe the next creepy abandoned cabin will have something perfect. Or a terrifying skeleton. Fork in the road. Or two. Let's go. Ha! Huh. Just because we know what's happened the last few times we found a creepy abandoned cabin it does not mean that it will be the same every time. That's one of the reasons I really love this. Oh, rabbit's supposed to be a delicacy. What do you think, pups? Uh, I think we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna leave it be. Well, we can check it out, actually. Maybe not hunt it. I could try learning hey, something about buddy. it for the journal. Hey, you mind being bait? I'm sure something big is tracking you. You are not very good bait. You didn't even move. What are you even eating? It's just snow. <laughs> Wait, am I the bait? Let Chomper try his luck. Hunt the bunny and leave. Let's try to have Chomper try his luck. All right, Chomper. On my call, you get to... Oh! All right, leave it, Chomper. All right, let's go. <laughs> so he didn't get it that time, but Thanks something waiting, tells pups. me sometimes he could probably go ahead and Ready manage to, to get that. All right, mush on, guys. That was a little bit of a bust, but hey, we took the opportunity to try to learn more about the world. And curiosity is a great thing to live by. I was thinking about that the other day, actually. There's a lot of people who say they want to be successful in their life and have their legacy remembered that way. They focus on numbers and metrics and, and big names and doing uh, big things. What's going on up there, Stilton? What is that? Stilton, what is it? Oh, it's a bunch of the birds again. I didn't see Hello. them. <laughs> Hi, guys. So, um, any chance you're laying eggs? I guess I should do something. All right, let the dogs go for them. Okay, on my call, you're going to try to get yourselves a meal. Hold. Hold. Okay, go. Jeez. Y'all are great at catching these birds. Maybe we shouldn't try to have chickens at our new home. Huh. I don't need eggs. I think I like these ptarmigans. You all look very full. This time around, we've got such full bellies. We're surviving Thanks great. For coming out there with me. But we're just not finding the let's things go, that I really want to be discovering. All right, let's go, pups. 
But yeah, when you hear people talk about success or their dreams or goals, you hear names of awards or fancy things or titles. Oh, now what? Let's go. Ha! But it hit me the other day. I mean, have you ever heard somebody who's really successful list off all these things they've done and list off like the awards they've won? And you Gail, have slow no down. idea. Up there. Oh, I think we wait. Should. What's this? Gail. Wow. Okay, Gail. Uh, Gail. I'm not even sure we should be messing with porcupines. Gail. Uh, see, they have a worse business end than skunks. Okay, so you're really bad with, with the porcupines. Gail! Oh, Gail, I tried to warn you. Okay, maybe I've fed their prey drive Let's too much. You. you can't just rush into things, especially things covered in spikes. <laughs> Gail, I'm beginning to think maybe it was your story that we learned. Let's get back out there. All right, maybe if we run into another porcupine, we'll be able to tell Gail, like, to chill and not worry about it. Oh, they... I'm sorry, girl. Oh. I wish I could provide better warnings about porcupines. They actually have a pointy end. I wish you didn't have to learn by doing. Poor Gail. I don't know what's bothering you, but let's mush on. She is a trooper to be able to go through with porcupine needles, having just stung her nose. Oh, no, what? Ha! Huh. Let's keep going ha for a little bit and see what's out here. Abandoned cabin, porcupines. We're doing pretty good with all those things. Wouldn't I mind the some more fish. Control a river of this size. How much food is just traveling beneath us? It looks like there's an opening up ahead. Uh, let's try it the fish. Salt enough to hold us. Let's see what we can catch. And now, wow. wait. You sit here, hang with your thoughts. Oh yeah, that's definitely what I need. More time with my thoughts. <laughs> but on the thoughts that I've been having, seriously, have you guys ever just heard somebody list off all these awards? They're on TV. Maybe they sound super important, or like gone to a website or a blog, and you realize you don't know any of those metrics of success. You don't understand oh, hey, what any of those rewards mean. I didn't even get to think about how bears get to fish yet. Well, back at it. <laughs> We've got so much food this time. This really is the great hunt run. It was a good diversion. Some more food. And no bullets wasted. Let's be safe out there. Nice. So I guess what I'm saying is I realize success is literally just up to our own personal and cultural definitions. So what does it matter? Well, yeah, we're actually doing pretty well. I mean, we're... You've pulled us even if you went. We're making our way. Whoops. Didn't mean to zip past something about Gale there. I'll have to be more careful in the future. Instead, like, I would rather people... They, their definition of success for me might be different than my definition of success for myself. But I think that everybody... We're road. We're two. Let's go... G. G! I think that everybody can understand to some degree what it means to be happy. We might not be able to point clearly and be like, yes, this person was obviously successful because success is defined in different ways. No. Oh, hey. No, no, no. A little wolf friend. No. We don't need this okay. again. You can stay over there. We don't mind. Noodle, can you call him off? Mush, mush. Dang it. Ah, Again. Go. Look, I know I was talking about balance in the wild world and the great hunt and everything. We've hunted a lot, but that doesn't mean I want to become prey. Okay, it's just a scratch. A scratch from a giant wolf mouth. We can patch this up. We know how to do this. Uh, all right, next camp spot. Why did I go out there? Uh. I'll Let's go, go ahead and rest. All right, Noodle, it'd be really awesome if you could get the rest of the wolf pack that you've become friends with to kind of, you know, stop chewing on us. Should we camp? Let's go ahead and camp and heal up really quickly. We should be able to take care of ourselves here. All right, all right. Let's see. Gail, how you doing after that porcupine bite? Or, like, well, sting. Okay, how's your nose, girl? Yeah, I know. It's painful. But you can't just rush in like that. Come here, buddy. There you go, Gail. I wonder if we're ever going to figure out Stilton's story. Or, well, you know, Slayer and Gail's story. Let's patch up. That should be good enough. <sighs> Alright. Let's set the trap and then we'll get a little bit of sleep. We've got plenty of food. Now we just need to go ahead and see if we can stumble upon any of the discoveries that might be waiting out here for us. Stilton, where should we put it? Worth setting the trap, Stilton. Should I set the trap? What do you see out there? We'll check on it when we wake up. 
There we go. And let's go ahead and curl up. Hey, chomps. I'll give you pets too, real quick. I shouldn't have brought you out here. We just have no, to keep no, no. going. No, no, no. We're gonna be okay. We're gonna be okay. It's all right. Just chewed on by a wolf again. Really? Might be time to get some rest. That well, sucks. We go to... But maybe we just surprised it while it was out on a hunt or something. There we go. All right. Everyone feeling better? Let's see what we've caught. You were right, buddy. I found another rabbit out there. Ah, good job, Stilton. Look at all the food we have. The fire would be nice. I mean, to be fair. Oh, I can't wait to feel the warmth on my face. With this much food, also, Stilton, you look terrifying out of the corner of my eye like that. Just FYI. But with this much food, I could see how the wolves actually would want to be on our tail. I'm ready to cook some food. Let's go ahead and fill up. Maybe if, you know, we've eaten it, we won't have to worry so much about the wolves and everything else chasing us. All right. You guys ready? Good time. Chow down, pups. Let's have full stomachs all around for once. Why not? I think everybody's going to be in a better mood with all of that. But yeah, just... Let's see. I was mentioning about success. Somebody else will probably have a different idea of what success looks like than what you might have as an idea of what success looks like. But I think everyone can tell when someone's really sincerely, authentically happy. Right down to their toes. You know what I mean? And I think that's what we should all aim for more than being successful. Because... I mean, look, if, if success is just kind of like a title that you give yourself fleetingly, who cares? Who cares? Really? Who cares? Who cares if you have, like, for instance, a million subscribers on YouTube, if you're me? And, I mean, really, who cares? But I think that people would realize that my life was well lived if I was laughing every day and could be with the people I loved every day. Right, pups? Get back on the trail. All right, let's mush on. A life well lived, in my opinion, is not one pursuing success, but one that's really pursuing the I deepest, were going to play. most authentic happiness that we can have. The wolves are following us again. We found the test we wanted. So we'll go ahead and see what's meant to be. But all right, there's my little ramble as I talk to myself here in the Alaskan wilderness. My toes are getting a little hmm. cold. Let's go. Let's go. G. G further into the woods for just a second. But then we'll go north maybe the rest of the way. Also, if we run into an elk or anything else right now? Leave the detritus. Who knows what's on the other end of this pile? Wait, what detritus? Chomper? Where did this come from? Is that a can of dog food? <gasps> and a harness? Yes! We're not even on a race trail. Why would someone's gear bag be here? This is perfect! Oh. I'm gonna hope that racer was already a scratch before a bear took away their stuff. So what else do people pack in these anyway? Are those dog booties? Little booties oh, for the dogs! Of course. I bet you pups can run farther if your paws are protected. Seeing as no one needs these, we might as well take them. I'm sure the bear won't mind. Yes! Now we have the booties! They're going to become less tired, their paws are going to be protected from the cold, and we have more energy. This is fantastic. Hey, pups. Literally the only thing we're missing now Let's is the gun cleaner. Them. And, you know, understanding what Gale and Slayer's hearts have in them. It's okay, Gale. They'll grow on you. You'll be faster. Oh, maybe Gale this needed to have to those. Training run. A simple trek out to our new home. But with these booties and seeing that bag, it's just... It's just so... Mm, exciting. With all that we've been through. We're getting there. We've got this. And that's so interesting that Gail actually reacts differently to the booties. Maybe she needed oh, no. to have them. Let's go... Ha! Huh. In order to really, like, figure out who she wants to be. That's a really exciting thought! <laughs> but seriously, guys. Happiness over success. Hey, a bunny! Oh, hi! <gasps> Look at these little guys! Uh, hello? So, like, uh family or oh my god is my question or some kind of cuteness defense mechanism that is a cuteness defense defense system you know what our bellies are pretty full we've got a little bit of food 
I'm not going to go ahead and blast you right now. I really need to develop more of a killer instinct. If I die out here because I couldn't manage to eat some cute bunnies, well, that'll just be who I am. Or was. I've wasted enough time here. <laughs> it's not a waste. We're enjoying and appreciating the wilderness. Okay? And Let's we've got the out. booties. And we've got our own definition of success. Cute little booties. Look at Slayer. She has purple ones. And happiness. Ah. Sure, we haven't found everything that we want, like Slayer and Gale's stories, but I feel like we're getting closer. So, if you guys could, do please leave a like for the hopes that we'll understand our girls. And if you would like to go ahead and join us on this... Hey there. Oh, is that okay. Should we go over there? Noodle? Come with me. Is this your friend? Did you kill this for us? <gasps> Noodle, it's your friend again! Uh, thank you. This is amazing. Once we've unlocked Noodle's story. I think you made a friend, Noodle. Then every time. I'm gonna collect some of this caribou. I'll see you at the sled. That wolf is looking out for us, too. Wow. That was a good diversion. We've got some more meat. All I right. We're done here. I think we Let's really go. are finding our way in the wild. Do please leave a like for Noodle's friend and for Slayer and Gale. And you if you would right, like Noodle. to join us. We should still try to help the animals we can. <laughs> it's hard enough out here. Nothing needs to suffer more. And this and literally sure I remember that. thousands more adventures. Do please consider subscribing. But most importantly, my friends, stay curious and find your happiness. Bye-bye.